Good morning. May God the Father, may God the Son, and may God the Holy Spirit bless and protect you. In this morning prayer you will hear the two most powerful prayers in the Bible. The Psalm 23 and also the Psalm 91. Psalm 23 is a very strong prayer. Capable of bringing change of scenery to your life. Able to bring a time of honor. Able to bring a time of prosperity. Psalm 23 is the prayer that causes God to get you out of the difficult time. As the psalm itself says, that God would deliver you from the valley of the shadow of death. The valley of the shadow of death represents the evil day. It represents a difficult time. It represents a moment of loss. A moment of tribulation. But if you cling to God and pray with great faith, in a few days you will see the action of the Holy Spirit of God acting in your life and making your cup overflow as the Psalm 23 reports. The cup overflow represents you being a blessing in different areas of your life. And right after that we're going to pray the Psalm 91. The Psalm 91 is the most powerful prayer to bring deliverance, protection, to break all chains, and also end all spiritual attacks against your life. All people who are going through a time of spiritual tribulation being a victim of envy, with problems in the sentimental life, under spiritual attacks, all people who are experiencing a disease problem. When these people cling to the mighty Psalm 91, these people see God's action in their lives, deliverance. When you hear Psalm 23 and Psalm 91 today, you can be sure that you will receive victory. You will receive a time of prosperity, a time of honor, a new time of change of scenery, but also a time of great protection. May no harm come near you. May no plague come near your life, your home, or your family. Now I want you to write your first name in the comments, and also the name of whom you want to include in these two powerful prayers. Know that in the things of God there are no coincidences. In the things of God, either He makes it happen or He allows it to happen. And if you are listening to this powerful prayer, if this special prayer reached you, it's because God has a very beautiful purpose for your life. He wants to bless you. He wants to open doors for you. He wants to act in your life. He wants to give you many victories. Where does this prayer go? Who is going through problems in the sentimental area? After you hear this prayer, if you want my help in prayer, a specific prayer for your love life. You who already live in a relationship. You can write in the comments a prayer request for your relationship, for the person you love. As soon as I see your prayer request, I will present it to God. If you are a person who is not yet in a relationship, but you want God to bless your sentiment area, you can also write a prayer request for your sentimental life in the comments. I'll already know what you need. Now I ask that you also like this video. Because every time you hear our prayer and leave your like, are you telling YouTube that prayer is good for you? And that he can pass it on to more people? By doing this you will help us to bless thousands of people. That's why it's very important that you leave your like now. Before praying, I want to talk to you who are here on the Powerful Prayer for You channel for the first time. Here you are welcome. Here we are not talking about religion. Here we are talking about God. And if you've come this far, it's because God has a wonderful purpose for your life. The direction I give you right now. After that, every time I send new powerful prayers, you will receive it for free through YouTube. Be sure that from today I am adopting you in my prayers. Surely your life will be very blessed. For the honor and glory of the Lord. Now I want you to prepare your heart. For let us pray the Psalm 23 and also the Psalm 91. If it's easy for you, prepare a glass of water. It will be very good because after these two prayers, by drinking this consecrated water your life will be very blessed. And one last direction before praying. I direct you who are listening to this prayer now. May you also listen for the next six days. Choose some time of the day and listen to this prayer. Because everything you do with God at number 7, you are leveraging your victory. 
According to the word of the Lord, the number seven is the number that represents God. Listen to this prayer for six more days to make seven total. And certainly great blessings from the Lord will be over your life. I want you to pray with me now. You can pray by repeating this prayer by saying the words or just mentally repeating it. Let's pray. Psalm 23 The Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures, he leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Psalm 91 Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in whom I trust. Surely He will save you from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with His feathers, and under His wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. If you say, The Lord is my refuge, and you make the Most High your dwelling, no harm will overtake you, no disaster will come near your tent. For He will command His angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands, so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the cobra, you will trample the great lion and the serpent. Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him, I will protect him, for he acknowledges my name. He will call on me, and I will answer him, I will be with him in trouble, I will deliver him and honor him. With long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. God, beloved Father, in this moment of prayer, under the blessings of the Psalm 23 and also the Psalm 91. I want to pray now my God for this life. I want to ask that at this moment your son receives all sorts of blessings. Lord, may doors that were closed be opened. That those who are hearing this prayer, those who are unemployed, suffering problems in financial life. Your word says, the Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing. So my God I declare, that the doors will open. People who have debts, I believe that providence will come. And these debts will be paid. Those people who are going through a difficult time, I believe that the Lord will take them out of this humiliation, this battle. And it will bring a time of blessing and victory into their lives. God, I also introduce you to the lives of your sons and daughters who are listening to me now. People who are under spiritual attacks suffering and being victimized with envy underneath words of curses that now all the attack of the enemy of the adversary fall to the ground and be expelled from this life god where does this prayer reach may the lord bless the whole environment may the lord bless the whole environment with prosperity and peace now i declare all the blessings of the lord upon your life about your home and also about your family. In the name of Jesus, Father, consecrate this glass of water. Through this water when this person drinks, may she be blessed, healed and set free for the honor and glory of the Lord. Before drinking the water, I want you to pray like this with me. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom, the power, the honor, and the glory. Today, tomorrow, and forevermore. 
and you say amen and say thank God. Make sure the blessing of Psalm 23 and the blessing of Psalm 91 are upon your life. Drink the glass of water that has just been consecrated and have health, peace, and many victories for your life. Remember to listen to this prayer for the next six days. And whenever you feel like you need it, come back here and listen again. Now that you're under the blessing, I ask that you click the share button that is below this video. Share this prayer with your family, friends, and everyone you want to bless. Surely where this prayer gets, all the people you love will be blessed.